operates and introduces us to the man who thought of it. With the turn of the key and just seconds to get it going, it's off. Creator Doug Heffern says the empty seat has definitely gotten some attention from neighbors and those passing by. He come running around the corner, he says, you're on more, you're on more, it's going, there's nobody on it. Wire installed about an inch deep in the <coughs> ground guides the seated John Deere mower through a sensor which is connected to the steering. It's very precise on a repeatable um, trip on a wire. It'll follow the wire within a quarter of an inch of the previous run. So it's very accurate. The mower's even got a built-in safety feature. It's got these sensors right here on the front, and if they hit anything, it'll automatically shut down. Or if it deviates from the wire, which I never had it happen, but if it goes off the wire any more than like two inches, it'll shut down. Doug first came up with the invention in the late 1980s and invited News Channel 9 to take a look. What would you give to have this piece of science fiction in your yard? Doug got some interest from John Deere back then, but nothing ever panned out. Since then, he's upgraded to a brand new mower and perfected the wiring technology. I built my house, I built all my furniture, and, um, you know, I like to keep going. What direction that takes him, Doug isn't sure. In the meantime, he's enjoying his latest invention, which has proven to be a handy tool this hot summer. In Kirkville, Stacy Lynn Honda, News Channel 9. And Doug says he's waiting on a patent for the automatic mower. Do you think he'd let me try it out for a couple of months and see how it works? He'd probably Hope never so. get it back, Rod. Better believe it. <laughs> Coming up here on News Channel 9, the president is making a